minerals and mining objective in this lesson we will learn about minerals and mining minerals in our houses we use many materials like cement sand lime kadapa stones or granites for the construction of our houses all of these are made up of various types of minerals we use many objects made of metals like iron copper lead chrome aluminum etc the ornaments which we wear are of silver and gold minerals we extract crude oil and use fuels like petrol diesel kerosene etc other forms of fuels like coal and gas are also used by us anything obtained naturally from earth can be called a mineral all the above mentioned materials are a combination of minerals minerals are available in earth in some compound form called as mineral ore the ore is extracted and processed to obtain the useful mineral renewable and non renewable resources there are two types of resources renewable and non renewable the resources which can be regenerated are called renewable resources example wood the resources which cannot be regenerated are called non renewable resources there is only a limited amount of minerals available on earth we should use them with care some important minerals and their uses bauxite aluminum is extracted from bauxite ores it is a lightweight metal used in making aircraft utensils electric wires etc mica it is a sparkling mineral used in the electrical and electronic industry it is also a non conductor of electricity and heat chrome it is used for preparing stainless steel utensils and storing acids asbestos it is a heat resistant mineral used in industry and household roofing it has been discovered that it is bad for health and is currently banned all over the world barites barites is extracted from barium it is used in drilling deep holes for petroleum and natural gas feldspar a raw material used in making of glass and ceramic ware like wash basin mineral resources of andhra pradesh Andhra Pradesh is very rich in mineral resources. It is a large producer of granites, kadapa stones, mineral oil and gas, limestone and dolomite. Andhra Pradesh is also famous for diamond mines. World famous Kohinoor diamond discovered at Koluru of Guntur district. In addition to the above, asbestos, barites, mica, feldspar, vermiculite etc are found in Andhra Pradesh. mining the minerals extraction of minerals is done through a process of mining or digging the earth there are several ways of mining blasting and extracting minerals is called as open cast mining building underground tunnels to mine minerals that lie very deep is called underground mining drilling very deep tube wells to get crude oil or natural gas is done near the sea coasts example bombay high near mumbai mining results in disturbing the surface area such as cutting down forests destroying fields and habitations creating large pits or mounds mines need large amounts of water to wash the minerals which result in polluting the nearby rivers and water resources people who live nearby face problems created by mining the work of miners is also very hazardous as they are exposed to accidents and breathing problems regularly to whom do the minerals belong minerals do not belong to any particular owner but belong to all people of the country and have to be used in everyone's interest the mineral wealth of a state is considered the property of the government at the time of independence Mines were mostly owned and operated by private owners and companies whose main aim is to get profits. In the 1970s, 
The government took over all mines and operated most of the mines and sold the minerals to various factories or traders or exported them. But the government was not able to bring in new and more sophisticated technologies for mining and not able to find new sites of mineral deposits. A national mineral policy was announced in 1993 and the government allowed private companies to lease mines and operate them. The companies were to pay a royalty to the government for the minerals they extracted and sold. Government encouraged private companies to invest money and bring in new technologies. As a result of this policy, there has been a boom in mining during the last 20 years. There has been a major increase in the number of mines and employment in the mining sector. Singarini Coal Fields SCCL there are extensive coal deposits in the four districts of Kamam, Karimnagar, Adilabad and Warangal. These mines are operated by the Singarini Collieries Company Limited. This company was initially set up by a private British mining company in 1886 which was purchased by the Nizam of Hyderabad in 1920. After independence, the government of India took over this company. Today. SCCL is jointly owned by the Government of India and State Government of Telangana. SCCL is currently operating 15 open cast and 35 underground mines in 4 districts of Telangana and employs around 65,000 people in the year 2012. Danger and Safety Measures Coal is found as thick layers under the ground. When we dig from the ground level, First, there will be some soil followed by rocks and water. We have to dig about 200 or 300 feet to reach the coal layer. To extract coal, we should make tunnels. Safety officers are appointed to take measures while extraction is done. A tunnel may fall or get flooded by water. Or they can be fire and suffocation due to poisonous gases. Safety kits are used to prevent accidents. Lift is used to get in and out from the tunnel. Typically, they'll use a loud bell to signal as alarm. Inside the mine Minerals use lifts to go down about 200 to 300 feet below the ground level. It gives an experience like going deep down a well. We can hear the sound of water falling. It is nothing but the ground water. Pumps are used to send water from the tunnels. Project and planning wing takes care of designing the methods of work. A rail track and small wagons are used to transport coal from one place to another. A narrow tunnel-like structure where coal is found on all sides is called a coal layer. The wall of the seam is painted with dolomite to prevent oxidation. Blasting the coal Every day, the supervisors inspect the coal seam and give instructions for the day's mining work. Different groups of people are assigned different tasks. One group drill hole with a pneumatic air compressor to plant the explosive rods. Resin packets are inserted to keep them in place. Explosive will be set off, denoted by an electrical device. Sometimes, the blasting can cause the entire mine to collapse and cause death of the miners. So, it should be done with great care and calculation. After blasting, Miners arrange wooden and iron supports to support the roof so that it may not fall on the heads of the miners. They cut the coal after the blast to transport the coal to the surface. Transporting Coal A conveyor belt is used to transport the coal to the surface. In early days, manual labourers were used to load onto small wagons that carried the coal. But now, dumper machines load the coal the conveyor belts. Coal is graded and loaded onto trucks and railway wagons. Welfare Several facilities are given to the employees of SCCL. Singarini Collieries provides quarters with roads, drinking water, utilization water, electricity at nominal charges, schools and hospitals. Safety and Health Checkups Director General of Mine Safety Monitors, Safety Aspects and Periodical Medical Examination. Due to the inhaling of coal powder, collieries will get a disease called black lung disease. Employees below 45 years will have through routine checkups every 5 years. Employees above 45 years will have through routine checkups every 3 years. 
minors with black lung diseases are usually transferred to a different department over the ground new trends in mining industry and minors recently there has been a great increase in demand for coal and for thermal power plants our mines are not able to cater to this demand due to low productivity SCCL therefore set up about 15 open cast mines and introduced fully automatic machines through private contractors Mangampeta barrage open pit mines Mangampeta is in the YSR Kadappa district and has one of the largest reserves of barrage mineral in the world The barrage reserves were discovered in 1960 and it has been mined since 1967 The families living here were rehabilitated by Andhra Pradesh Mineral Development Corporation (APMDC). The Barrett mines are deprived of APMDC as it earns huge profits from these mines. The mines here are open pit type. Barrett's available in the upper layers is of lower grade. Barrett's which are extracted from great depth are of a higher grade. Upper layer barrett's are in grey color. Lower levels are of white or cream white. In the open pit mines almost all work is done by machines. Shovels and bulldozers are used to remove the top soil and rocks which are a waste. Minerals are removed and loaded by huge machine dumpers onto 10 ton capacity tipper trucks. Every day 16000 tons of waste material and 3000 tons of barrels are mined and transported. Disposing of waste is a big challenge in Mangam pit mines. plants and grasses are grown and watered constantly to stop flying and spreading of dust wires explosive blast detonators are used in the process of extraction blasting is done to remove the top soil or rocks workers wear protective gloves shoes and helmets to protect them from accidents after blasting the ore is transported by the truck to the above ground The ore is crushed into a fine powder and packed in large bags and sent off in trucks and the railway wagons. It is very important that every citizen should know and feel responsible for protecting, using and preserving the minerals of a country and control the damage done to the environment by mining. Summary. In this lesson we learned about minerals, renewable and non-renewable resources, mineral resources of Andhra Pradesh, process of mining extraction of coal through underground mining extraction of barrels through open pit process hazards of mining for environment and people new trends in mining industry and miners